up guys? Today we're going to be making a really fun cake for the new Cars 3 movie. My name is Lori and you guys are watching The Icing Artist. So I baked two 8 inch round vanilla cakes and two 8 inch round chocolate cakes. I want this cake to look like a race flake on the outside and the inside. This is the first time I've done this kind of pattern in a cake so I'm kind of crossing my fingers hoping that it works out. We need to make like cake rings kind of that we can interchange between the chocolate and the vanilla. The small circle is going to be two and a half inches. I actually had a circle cutter, so I just used that to cut out the centers, and I used a ruler to center it the best that I can. Take your time with this, otherwise you're going to have very wonky checkerboard pattern. I then carefully removed the circles out of the circles. For the second circle, I actually didn't have a circle cutter big enough for this, so I just made a little template that was five inches wide. I did the same thing, just making sure it was perfectly centered and then use my knife and just cut around that. Make sure you take your time when you're taking out these circles because you do not want them to rip or fall apart. Now we're going to be combining all of the rings together. So I'm going to take my vanilla ring and put that into the chocolate and then put a chocolate center. So it kind of goes like chocolate, vanilla, chocolate or vanilla, chocolate, vanilla. Once we stack this up, I'm hoping that it's gonna give us a checkerboard. Now I'm going to stack up my cake using my vanilla buttercream icing, just putting a nice thin layer in between each layer of cake. Okay, when you guys are stacking up this cake, you really wanna be careful that you do one of the layers with the vanilla on the outside and one of the layers with the chocolate on the outside so you're changing it as you stack up. I almost did the vanilla, vanilla, and then chocolate, chocolate, and that would've completely destroyed the entire pattern that we're trying to create here. We're not trying to make a checker rectangle pattern. So just pay attention through this part. Once it's all stacked up, it is time to crumb coat it. I would love to cut into this right now and see if it actually worked, but we're gonna have to wait until it's decorated. Now to cover my cake and fondant, I'm just gonna roll my fondant out. I always find it easier when you're rolling out fondant to kind of put some icing sugar on the top and then flip it over like a big pizza dough. For me, I find this the easiest way to roll out the fondant, otherwise the fondant kind of just sticks to the table and it doesn't want to roll out too much, kind of get to a certain diameter and it's just like, I'm not going to roll anymore for you. If I get any air bubbles, I'm just going to use a pin and pop them and just kind of smooth it out with my hand. I then rolled my fondant over my rolling pin and then back over my cake and I just used my hands and kind of pulled out the fondant on the sides and then smoothed that in with my hands. I then just used a fondant smoother to smooth out the top and the sides till it was relatively smooth. I'm then going to trim off the excess. Because the car movies are in the desert, at least I, I think they're in the desert or they're driving through the desert, I've seen desert things in the movie. I want the top to kind of look like deserty. So I rolled out some dark ivory fondant and I want to create more of like a texture kind of shape-ish on the edges. Now I want to make like a black road that's going to be going through my desert. I realized once I put the ivory fondant onto my cake that I should have put the road on before I cut out the edges. We're going to roll with it, you know? You think things happen in the spur of moments of cake decorating. I'd recommend you guys doing the road on the desert before you put it on the cake and don't be silly like me. Thank you so much to everybody who entered into our 500,000 subscriber giveaway. That was a lot of fun. The winners have already been notified, but I will also leave their information down below in the description box so you guys want to check that out. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, as always, for all of my recipes and tools I'm using in this video, I will leave those in the description. To make this cake now look like a race flag, you're going to need to cut out a lot like a lot of black squares fondant. Once they're all cut out, I just wet the back of them and then place them onto the cake. I spaced them out using the same square cutter. I wanted to make sure that they were perfectly spaced out going around. I only had to do this with the bottom row because then the next row up already kind of had those space. I always find when I freehand stuff like this and I just kind of put it on the cake, it ends up being wonky and not spaced out properly at all. So I find it helpful to take the extra steps in making sure everything is even. I've been wanting to make a Cars cake for a really long time, but I couldn't really settle on a design that would be easy but yet really cool. I thought I'd make a cake in the shape of Lightning McQueen, but that seemed really challenging. <laughs> so I went with the race flag. To complete our desert look, I'm gonna need to make some cactuses. So I just took some dark green fondant, I rolled that into almost a log shape. I used my knife to add some lines onto it to add that kind of cactusy texture. 
I did the same thing with the cactus limbs and just used a piece of spaghetti to kind of hold them in straight. And then I made like a cactus bush. For my third cactus, I just took some light green fondant and made almost little discs. Again, using the spaghetti to kind of piece them together. And I used my toothpick to add little dots to make some more texture. I thought this one would be really cute with a little pink flower on top. So just roll out some pink fondant and use a really small flower cutter. Added on my cactuses and a few rocks here and there. And finally, Lightning McQueen. Oh, he's so fast. And that's it. Our race flag, desert, cars, Lightning McQueen themed cake is completely done. Now this cake looks really cool on the outside, but it's time to see if that race leg on the inside actually works. That looks awesome. I am so happy with this cake. I'm really happy that pattern actually worked. I think having that pattern on the inside of the cakes just adds that extra little something to it. I hope you guys really like what I came up with this week, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button that's right over here and subscribe. I'll also leave more videos over here that you guys can check out. And of course, don't forget to come back here again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Bye guys.